This morning, new warnings about dangers in the water after a shark attack off the coast of Northern California. A 39-year-old man was surfing south of San Francisco Saturday when authorities say a great white shark swam up and bit the back of his right leg. He was out surfing and a great white came up and uh, just took a, one bite out of him and released him. Thomas Masada was fishing nearby when he saw the surfer limping out of the water, calling for help and bleeding badly. As soon as I saw him, he collapsed to the ground and was holding his leg. The first thing he said was, I've been bitten by a shark. Masada says he dialed 911, but before help arrived, he tried to stop the bleeding using straps from his backpack to create a makeshift tourniquet. I remember saying, it's life or death. You need to send someone soon. And then the call dropped off. At that point, I was just thinking, oh my gosh, please don't let this guy die. Within minutes, emergency crews arrived, treating the surfer with advanced life support measures before rushing him to a trauma center. A scary start to the summer as more people head to the beach. In Cape Cod, Massachusetts, there was a no-swim order this weekend after a shark sighting. This time of year, great white sharks are migrating north up both coasts. Three feet into the ocean, you are deep into the wild. Everything that lives in the ocean is there. So you need to understand what's going on and make good conservative decisions based on what you see. Last year, three people in the U.S. died from shark attacks. But the rate of fatal shark bites has been declining. And experts say sharks are going after food, not people. You're more likely to get struck by lightning twice than have a shark interaction. Look at the ocean and understand the system that you're going into. That is the only thing that you can do to reduce an already tiny, tiny, tiny likelihood that anything may occur. Kathy, I mean, we know the risk is low, but what are some steps people can take just to be as safe as possible? Yeah, so experts are saying there are a couple things that you can do to avoid these possible shark encounters. If you do decide to go into the water, consider bringing a buddy with you. Also stay close to shore, avoid swimming at dawn or dusk. And this is also big, avoid swimming near those large schools of fish because that is on a shark's menu, Savannah. All right, Kathy, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Number one shark safety tip, stay on land. Yeah, I was going to say pool, full stay time. The, there you go. Yeah. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.